you're worried about getting fired, then you're, you're concentrating on the wrong things. Two major college coaches got the ax over the weekend. Bo Pelini off the chopping block for now, but after everything that's happened here recently, he could be coaching for his future with the Huskers. And that means Bo will likely bypass loyalty for decisions that will help him win ball games now. The biggest? Deciding who starts at quarterback. Taylor Martinez still iffy, but Nebraska has two viable options for the Big Ten opener if need be. Ron Kellogg had a nice outing against SDSU, guiding the offense to scores on three of four first half drives in that ball game. The Omaha West Side product is ready if his number is called this Saturday against Illinois. It means the world to me, um, just because a lot of people were curious something I, I want to take advantage of. And while all signs are pointing towards Taylor Martinez not making the start, Illinois head coach Todd Beckman thinks it'll be number three on the first drive for the Huskers. I think Taylor will play and has been around that offense. It's South Dakota State there, bud. Uh, and while Bo Pelini wouldn't flat out say who the starter is, he leaned heavily towards Tommy Armstrong Jr. So don't be surprised if the redshirt freshman makes his second consecutive start this Saturday. Meanwhile, over the weekend, all eyes in the Big Ten were focused on Ohio State and Wisconsin. The winner in all likelihood would go on to win the leaders division. The Buckeyes did win that game, but won over a lot of fans with one simple act of kindness. Following the victory, every Buckeye player gave longtime Columbus sports director Dom Tiberi a hug when they came off the field. Tiberi returned to work for the first time since mid-September when he lost his 21-year-old daughter in a car crash. Yeah, Graham's calling for somebody. Whose phone is this? Hey, Graham, we're in a press conference, buddy. You're going to have to call him back, all right? Okay. Go Cats, boy. In Evanston, a light moment there at Northwestern's press conference today, but things are sure to be more focused as his Wildcast Wildcats host Ohio State on Saturday. And the Husker volleyball team moved up to 10th in the country after picking up two wins over the weekend, one against Northwestern and the other against Illinois. So, guys, what we've gathered today from today's press conference, we don't know who's starting. <laughs> Boy, how things change in just one season. Illinois all of a sudden looks as if they can play a little bit. The Fighting Illini already surpassed last year's win total in sporting one of the best offenses in the country. Kansas City native Nathan Shieldhouse is a fifth year senior quarterback at Illinois and he's making the most of his final season in the college ranks. In the past, he has run all over the gridiron, but this year is adding to his arsenal. I think he plays within their offense. He's a real mobile quarterback. Fighting words for the fighting Illini QB, but the fact of the matter is Shieldhouse isn't running the ball much. He's been lethal through the air, averaging over 300 yards a game, second best in the Big Ten. Now, Nathan Shieldhouse could have actually been the Huskers quarterback. He was recruited by Nebraska a few years ago. Bo Pelini ultimately offered Taylor Martinez instead, and the rest is history. But will Bo choose Taylor again this Saturday? Find out why he could miss his second straight game. We'll have the details in just a few minutes. Right. Taylor Martinez is the key to the Husker offense. He's the glue that brings this well-oiled machine together. He's responsible for over 10,000 yards of total offense in his career at Nebraska, yet none of that matters. Turf toe continues to keep him out of the mix for the Huskers Big Ten opener. Martinez did some light work on the side today in practice. The coaching staff non-committal to ruling Taylor out of Saturday's game, saying there's an outside chance he could play. Yet there are two healthy quarterbacks in Tommy Armstrong and Ron Kellogg that could once again be seen rotating series against the Fighting Illini in a few days. Yeah, you know, I could. I'm just going to I kind of play it by ear and see as we go. I mean, there's so many scenarios that go into the decisions that are made. Well, if the decision were up to Tommy Armstrong, he'd make his second career start for the Huskers. The redshirt freshman is chomping at the bit to get back into the line of fire and put another win in the left-hand column for Nebraska. I aim to start every week and you no know, week. The competition between Armstrong and Kellogg is extremely close. Check out the numbers from the South Dakota State game. Both were extremely accurate, led the Huskers to touchdown scoring drives, and most importantly, didn't turn the ball over. Keep it here on KMTV for the latest with the Husker quarterback controversy 
as we lead to kickoff on Saturday. Several outlets have Creighton basketball preseason ranked in the top 20, and you know why. Doug McDermott and Grant Gibbs return to a Blue Jays roster that's made back-to-back -back NCAA tournament appearances and now face the new challenge of tackling the Big East. 